Hello guys, this is The Great Lobbyist again and I'm back with TP-Link AX6000, Archer AX6000 um, Wi-Fi router. This is one of the only few routers available today which come with Wi-Fi 6. Now, let's start with uh, what does the box say on here? Right on top, uh, we've got uh, some basic information which we're going to discuss in detail. It's got um, uh, 4,804 uh, Mbps speed on 5 GHz and, and 1148 Mbps uh, on 2.4 GHz. Uh, it has a 2.5 um, Gbps WLAN port, uh, which gives you very high speed internet, of course, and um, it comes with MU MIMO technology which is four times more better performance and a 1.8 gigahertz quad core CPU uh, making the processing faster on the the side again it shows some basic information about the sides of the products and what kind of port it has some more basic information about than that let's get right on to it and open this bad boy up and see what it has to offer and we have the Archer AX6000. We've got some manuals here. It's got the installation guide, which will tell you how to set this thing up. And it's got some how to update your driver update and the public usage license with the warranty card here. We got power adapter, um, uh, which comes with the, within the box, of course and next we have here is the router itself let's get this old thing oh we've got something else here done down here um a, a, a land cable i'll just keep it on the side guys this is the archer ax6000 as i said it's one of the very few um routers available in the market which come with wi-fi 6 um, and of course this is one of them and it, it comes it comes equipped with the latest of uh, 802.11 AX technology uh, with amazing connectivity options um, uh, let's start with the top of it it's it's pretty big pretty nice neatly designed let's see the antennas we've got one two three four five six seven eight eight antennas um non-removable i guess yes they cannot be removed which uh, which is which is quite interesting i mean uh you know when you want to put it down on a flat surface or or uh, you know it's, it's gonna look protruding uh, out in a in a very weird way though the overall design looks pretty neat uh, i'm gonna put that bad boys back locked up um and and you know it's it's TP-Link has always come up with some some really really amazing uh, products. Uh, they, that's why they've you know continued to be the leaders in um, in the networking industry. And this is another amazing product uh, which I see. Um, let's start with what do we have on on side. We've got the WC, WPS and Wi-Fi and LED button. Um, on the other side we have usb 3.0 and usb type c port um here and we got um whoa that's hella hella ports i mean it, it it's really it's got eight gigapig ports um which we can see here um you know and this is the 2.5 gig wireland port and um the power on off button and the power input and reset button at the back um and the thing on the other side at the back, oh, we've got some uh, basic information, the product code and everything um, right here and the hooks to hang on in case you want to wall mount um, this, this, this router. So um, talking of um, what this piece can do for you, um, it's got some amazing speed options. It's a little big in size. I mean, I've not seen, to be honest with you, or used at least a router this big. Um, you know, I, I did uh, 
uh, try to uh, turn this on and connect it uh, you know well uh, you know uh, you know it, it come, it's, it's got all these LED lights which light up um, uh, right in the middle here uh, just to give you an idea on you know uh, you know it's got it, it and it keep changes the color uh, it's it's solid blue um, when I when I connected it it was pure solid blue um, in, in color uh, when everything was working fine, then it pulses when it's trying to do something internally like upgrading firmware or you know trying to connect um, it, it, it also had an orange option uh, when uh, you know the wireless was disabled uh, But uh, it was definitely connected to the internet and it did glow solid red when there was no internet at all so basically by looking at the router you can tell you know what state it is in and which makes it uh, a great option to look at if you're guessing in case you're facing any trouble with connectivity whether it's come the problem is coming from the router or it's it somewhere else um, as we saw um, you know some some great ports and buttons and everything and um, you know uh, which which it comes with it gives us a numerous options for people uh, for the users to connect with uh, and of course uh, the 1.8 8 gigahertz quad core processor which makes it quite fast for a router uh, to process the information um, it, it comes with 1 GB of RAM and 128 MB of flash memory uh, you know it's it's it is a dual band 8 stream router which means uh, you get four streams for each band and uh, they utilized uh, you know one or two uh, 802 point11 AX tech with uh, 1024 QAM uh, you know if, if for the people who don't know what QAM is it's uh, quadrature amplitude modulation um, you can look at, look it up on the internet and see what it does uh, it uh, you know it can it helps you raise up uh, the data rates up to 1148 Mbps on 2.4 gigahertz band and uh, 48 uh, or 4 mbps on a 5 gigahertz band um, it also supports uh, 106 megahertz channel width uh, automatic band steering MU MIMO um, data streaming and uh, direct uh, to client signal beam forming it um, one of the thing it doesn't support is is um, uh, WPA3 certification which means it's a WP uh, it's 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 a Wi-Fi 6 router, but it doesn't have Wi-Fi 6 certification uh, At least that's what it means. I'm sure that they will be sorting it out and the firmware will be upgraded to uh, uh, To be able to support that uh, with Grady's um, It all of course it also has Wi-Fi 5 support uh, which is uh, uh, 802.11 AC which is a standard um, and uh, but but uh, the Wi-Fi 6 does promise a great deal of enhanced performance in throughput and increased client capacity to accommodate more client you know more client connectivity. Now when when it it has um, makes it very interesting for a smart home market where, where every single device today is on Wi-Fi and is connected to the internet. But but the latest technologies like these does help us connect better. Uh, in our home environment and in our work environment and for battery operated devices because of the smart technologies uh, built in in uh, routers like AX6000 uh, it just enhances the battery life because it's it's uh, it smartly connects to uh, the signal when it needs to and and so on well it and uh, another interesting thing is that um, you know the the router anything that you need to do it's pretty easy uh, uh, to to install and uh, to configure you can use the uh, uh, TP-Link Tether mobile app on iOS and Android devices which uh, it's fairly easy to use you, you can uh, you know it, it pretty much makes it pretty easy for anyone to create their own SSIDs and passwords and uh, you know uh, everything else uh, that needs to be set up in, including the uh, you know uh, child protection etc so which, which makes it very easy for even um, people who are not technologically very uh, informed to make uh, to set up this router it also comes with an inbuilt malware control uh, malware, malware protection um, 
which is built into it. When, when I was connected uh, for a few few days with this router, um, what I did notice was it has a great uh, throughput performance, uh, file transfer pretty fast, and I did test some uh, uh, parental control uh, options, um, which uh, which were pretty elaborate, and I could set up, uh, uh, I could do a lot of things out there as well. What, what and again, um, you know, uh, it's one of the things is it's the downside for me was uh, the size of it, and and you know, uh, which is um, which makes it quite a bulky router, uh, and uh, of course, uh, the technology does come at a price, and it makes it slightly more expensive than some of its uh, counterparts uh, and competitors. But yes, it's TP Link. It's uh, uh, the the quality wise the product the finish uh, of the product and the technology is pretty advanced so I think uh, anyone who loves to have that doesn't mind shelling out a few extra dollars to to be able to uh, you know uh, have what they really need um, guys uh, thank you very much for watching the video uh, please don't forget to like share subscribe follow uh, on, on our platforms um, down there. Uh, one of the things I wanted to tell you towards the end of this video was what we are offering is is a chance for you to win this router. Uh, uh, pretty cool, isn't it? I mean, as, as you know, so uh, what all you need to do is um, subscribe to us on our, our, uh, to our YouTube channel, uh, follow us on Instagram and Facebook and um, comment on the video please share your inputs all that how, how i can make better videos and what more information you're looking at uh when i make uh these video uh with these videos and um, share it share it with your friends and uh, they also have an equal chance of winning uh, this router um so uh thank you very much for watching this is uh the great lobbyists. I'm going to sign off now and I'm looking forward to coming up with a new video very soon with some new amazing products and closing off. Thank you very much.